All right, I believe that I have come up with a betting strategy for the Heisman Trophy that has an 85% chance to hit. Essentially, right now, after week 9, no candidate is favored to win the Heisman yet. However, in my opinion, there is no way there is anybody outside this top 6 right here that's going to win the Heisman. So after a few hours of running through scenarios and thinking about some math, I came up with a solution. At first, I thought, what if you just were to put $100 on Michael Penix Jr. and $100 on the other five candidates? If you were to split $100 between the five candidates, this is what the odds would play out to be. However, as you can see, since you would be betting $200 total, dollars, this would be the net money you would get after the Heisman. Let's just say for the sake of argument, Bo Nix were to win the Heisman. You would bet $20 that he wins the Heisman, which would give you $140. But since you bet $200 total dollars on Michael Penix Jr. plus the five candidates, you would actually have a net of minus $60. So I thought to myself, we've got to eliminate some people at this point in time. The first person that I can eliminate is Marvin Harrison Jr. Statistically speaking, Marvin Harrison Jr. is not the solidified number one wide receiver. Right now, he's sitting at 10th in touchdowns and 6th in yards for wide receivers. And when you look at his numbers compared to Devonta Smith, who won a few years ago, he is still behind Devonta Smith. The next candidate I'm going to eliminate is Jaden Daniels. I think his path is the most difficult out of any of these candidates. He would have to beat Bama this weekend and then beat Georgia in the SEC Championship game, which I just don't think both of those are going to happen. And finally, J.J. McCarthy. Now, he may be on the most dominating team this year, but unless they score like 40 points a game in the last three weeks, I really do not see J.J. McCarthy winning the Heisman. On top of there being human voters for the Heisman, I just don't see a path where J.J. McCarthy is going to get voted as the best player in college football. So now, what you've all been waiting for, my strategy that I'm 85% confident is going to win this season. Essentially, if you were to bet $10 on Michael Penix plus $5 on both Bo Nix and Jordan Travis, you would come out positive as long as one of those three win. I'm going to be placing this strategy myself, so I'll keep you guys updated if it wins, and I will ride this with you guys. Let me know if you guys want to ride this as well.